Okay, well, instead of uh, dining room table repairs, see, it just can't focus on the LCD monitor. I love that. Anyway, here is a Dell Inspiron uh, 1150. Came to me with two broken D keys on the keyboard. But, you know, it's not really a big deal because it's not going to be that used. But, uh, just got your regular touchpad. There's no tit mouse on it. 15 inch screen. This came to me without a battery. And uh, it's got like a DVD drive, actually PCM CIA or card bus if you will. Uh, some sound in and out. And on the back, let's see here. We have Etherwebs, VGA, uh, USB, power connection, and a blank where perhaps this video out used to be. And there's nothing else on this side except for ye lonely modem jack. Fan ports, all kinds of good stuff there. So anyway, we're going to fire this up and I'll show you what it's got. Let's fire this guy up over here. We have a green clean light. Your post will go in the BIOS over here just to see what the hell it has. It's got a Intel inside. Latest BIOS A07, as you see right there. This is a Smellron 2.6. It's got 512 megabytes of RAM. And uh, it's Intel 852GM, GME, GMV. It's actually a 14 inch screen, bag my part. Sigintel Audio, Broadcom Polaris modem controller. Ooh. A whole 60 gigabyte drive hard drive and a DVD RW in the modular bay and that's really all you need to see here we'll hit escape to exit and let it boot now I'm not finished working with this machine but no it is not running Windows XP at all why it must be running Windows Vista then Jay why would you put Vista on a machine Especially if it actually has a product key for XP on the bottom. Well, that screen is actually a lie, as you'll find out in a moment. Uh, for some reason, the <coughs> spare <coughs> copy of Windows 7 I had um, just happens to uh, use the Vista loading screen. Maybe to alert it to the fact that it's not actually genuinated. But um, it's not really a problem. And here is Windows 7 running on this machine. Celeron 2.6 with 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, we have a red X over here over the battery because there is none of that kind. It's got wireless built in. And uh, it should eventually connect up to my networks. Right there, it's got soundage, your time and date, all that kind of good stuff. And it's slow, yes, it sure is. But that's okay. That doesn't matter at all. Okay, now we're connected without an issue. Click on Chrome. I like Chrome. Seems to do its job. And you'll see it will take a moment or so, but it will come up. Oh, I just minimized it by accident. That's one of the reasons I hate touchpads. And uh, we'll go to the YouTubes. Hopefully it'll type in there. Yep. And let's just pick a video at random here. Gee, does that look familiar, everybody? From just the other video and crap. Yep, Nick gave that one to me. That was the Dell Switch. That sure came in handy as a little booster, but uh, anyway, this thing doesn't really have the greatest horsepower to play videos, as you can tell. Serious uh, audio rack right here. It's uh, a bunch of amps. And pretty choppy. And an audio you set it to 240p, it seems to play. Here not too good, but not too bad, as you can tell. 
Chris 232 as well. It's kind of choppy, but it does I love work. Cereal. Especially for breakfast. So, anyway, that's that. It's uh, running 7 Home Premium 32 shit. Right there. 512 megabytes. And only 1.0 because the video, that was a fiasco and a half. You couldn't install, you saw the video chipset in the in the in the BIOS before. And we'll hit device mangler so you can see. And I'll get something else ready while that's loading. So if you look over here under display adapters, not quite what we were looking for. Close, but not quite. In order to get it to work, you have to disable the Windows built-in VGA PNP.sys. And this is how you do it. you got to run takeown slash F on that. And then uh, cackles, or C-A-C-L-S, on that file. Slash G, used Peter as an example, username, colon, capital F. And you do all that, and get rid of it. And then you install the driver manually through device mangler pointing it to where it is it installs and then you can enjoy full color at 1024 by 768 and this is just a beautiful running machine so the next time your kids act up take an old laptop like this and load it up with something like Windows 7 and make them wait for everything you know it's like you, you could you know I, I could have been really mean to you and just taking the computer away but no 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 this way you could just slowly torture them that would be kind of awesome and the reason I bring that up is because I was watching an old episode of I Love Lucy today and uh, they were uh, watching TV I, don't, I forget what the episode is called they were watching TV and uh, it was one of the earlier episodes of the series uh, this is back in the 1950s. For anybody who's not sure what I Love Lucy is, look it up first. So you see it was in uh, black and white and that. But anyway, they were playing with the manual knob on the TV because you didn't have a remote, really. So they were playing with the manual knob and broke it off, and that was kind of a little joke. And uh, then they were stuck having to talk to each other, but then they realized, hey, we can listen to the radio. Uh, it had something to do with a Mr. and Mrs. Quiz show. But anyway... They got out a radio from the other room, which, of course, plugs into an AC outlet. And uh, Ricky Ricardo turned it on and says, it take a minute to warm up. Because it had vacuum tubes in it. Could you imagine kids today with their cell phones always on? Anything they need to know, however incorrect it may be, because remember, if it's on the interwebs, it has to be true. Everything they need right in the palm of their goddamn hand, watching that instead of the road. And then they gotta wait. Could you imagine them having to wait? How did we do it years ago? You know, you'd turn on the TV and you'd wait for it to warm up and come on. And the picture was fuzzy because we didn't have this digital crap. Not that digital makes it any better, thank you. But anyway, you know, digital has all of its own problems. But, you know, that's really it. And nowadays, I mean, even TV now doesn't have, uh, you know, like instant, 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 instant on. It takes a few moments. Case in point, you know, we're right here. My remote. It's on, you wait, and then finally it tells me that I didn't shut it off and it shut off because I had it on the computer and then the computer goes to sleep and then the TV goes to sleep and that's how it shut off. But, you know, I'll set it back to that and we'll just see whatever happens to be on TV at the moment, which the box is off as well. Turn that on and there's News 12 and... Here's channel 13, whatever it is, and that's that. So, anyway, could you imagine having to actually wait for your device to warm? It's bad enough when they got to reboot their damn phone. They're like, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, we have to do that every time. 
You know, and then they came out with fancier TVs and radios where they leave the tubes slightly lit so it wouldn't take as long to turn on. And you're supposed to actually shut that off or unplug the set. Yes, it was a set then. When you went on vacation, so you wouldn't have to unnecessarily run and burn out the tubes. And, you know, then you'd have to wait for it to actually warm up and stuff. I don't know. Kids today, everybody. So anyway, that's the deal. Um, that was the uh, Inspiron laptop with a little rant at the end, the Inspiron 1150. It's running Windows 7. Nothing's finalized. I might put XP back on it, but I just decided to do that. By the way, it is sitting on the couch on one of these little laptops. Stupid, you know, raise it up so I don't burn myself kind of thing. And I just worked on it here while I watch TV to be lazy when I'm not on my computer in the other room. So that's going to be the end of this video. I thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day. The video will end, I, I, you know, trust me, it will. It, it will end yet. The video is currently shutting down, ladies and gentlemen.